Just about everywhere you look on YouTube these days, there's saxophone teachers encouraging you to play jazz. I know, I kind of do that sometimes too. But today's video isn't about jazz, it's actually about pop songs, and it's about trying to encourage you to pick up your sax and play some pop songs and love it and have some fun with it because it's actually really, really good for you. And to help me with this conversation, I've got an incredible pop sax player joining me. It's Brendan Ross from South Africa. He's an amazing player, and he's gonna be sharing with us the three things that we need to be aware of when we start playing pop songs on our saxophone. Let's get stuck in. Hey, g'day, it's Nigel here from Sax School Online. Thanks so much for joining me again. It's great to see you again on this video. If it's our first time meeting though, good to see you, how you doing? And it'd really help me if you give us a thumbs up, if you subscribe to, if you like these sort of videos, it just helps me to know that I'm making content that you enjoy. So why am I making this video today? Well, the thing is, amongst our thousands of members in Sax School Online, We've got loads and loads and loads of people from all around the world that absolutely love to play pop songs. And to be honest with you, although I've spent my whole career playing jazz and blues and playing in shows and doing all sorts of different types of music, I also quite like playing pop songs. The reason is though, because playing pop songs, I actually find it quite challenging. I find it's really, really good for your tone and it's brilliant for your expression. So all together, playing through pop songs actually helps me and everybody else to become better saxophone players. And guess what? It's also a whole bunch of fun. So to help me dig into this topic today, I'm really excited to be talking to Brendan Ross. He's an amazing saxophone player. I've been checking out his channel for ages. You should check it out too if you haven't seen it yet. I'll put a link in the description down below. Now I love Brendan's playing. He's a really great sax player and his videos are fantastic and I love the way he connects with pop melodies because that's what he does on his channel. He's playing Afrobeat songs, pop beats, uh, pop songs, all sorts of stuff but he plays in such a lovely, melodic, lyrical way. There's loads for us to learn from him. And I'm also excited to be uh, having Brendan actually as part of our tutor team now over at Sax School Online. So he's starting to help our, our students as well to understand about pop sax playing, and he's doing a special masterclass for us very soon inside the members area too. So let's get started and hear from Brendan about these three things that we need to be aware of when we start playing pop songs on our saxophones. So, Brendan, with this whole process of starting to play pop songs on sax, what do you think is the first most important point that people need to think about? Well, I would suggest starting with songs that you that you know very well, songs that have that have been part of you for years um, that you can sing without having any kind of reference going. And the reason is that because those songs will naturally they'll be part of you. You don't have to think about the notes too much. You just have to think about maybe the way the lyrics come out or maybe the way that the original artist uh, expressed themselves, you know, and maybe that maybe that helps you to just put some expression and life into it as opposed to trying to worry about getting to getting familiar with a, a new melody. So start with songs that you know. Yeah, I reckon that's a, that's a great idea. And I'll bet most of us have got songs that we know and love and we've already got an attachment to them so there'll be some sort of emotion that we feel or a memory even that we we get when we listen to those songs so do you think we can sort of tap into that a bit as well when we're playing a song that we're really familiar with definitely i think you know one one has to remember why we do music as well you know coming from my own deliverance you know i the the reason why we do this is to touch people and to move people through sound and through performance and you know it's so much easier when you when you've really internalized um the music so sometimes you know you end up on gigs or on on shows where where they've, they've given you a bunch of new music to learn and it's tough to to internalize well for me it's tough to internalize that enough to really be expressive on it and not worry too much about oh what's the next section or how does how does it go it's just it's part of you already you know so yeah I, that's that's yeah. kind of my thinking <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, so what's the second step, Brendan? If we're starting off with a song that we're really familiar with, what do you think is the second most important thing that we need to keep in mind when we're learning to play pop songs? Well, I find it helps to to have a good grip of the lyrics where possible. Sometimes there's just too many of them and you, you can't. But um, again, with with an example like the Sam Smith, I've, I've sung, I also sing, so I've sung the song a bunch of times as well. And so... When I play when I play the song on the sax, it really helps to just have those those lyrics flowing in mind because it helps you a lot with your phrasing. It helps you a lot with which are the which are the most sort of uh, emotional parts of the song. Which are the parts that that are a little lighter, and you can hopefully make that um, translate into the way you perform it on the sax. Obviously, without the lyrics, but it definitely helps for me to 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 think of the lyrics, lyrics where possible but you know it's it's a lot to remember it's a lot to keep in mind so that again that's why it helps to really know the songs well if you if you have that luxury okay brendan so you know, if we're getting started with this whole journey of playing pop sax, we're, we're choosing some songs that we know and love, and we're really getting into the lyrics. But what's the final step to really bring our playing to life? Because when I listen to you playing a pop song, there's there's lots of other magic going on in there. What's that other secret ingredient? I think it's expression, Nigel. Um, we've got to find ways to 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 move your audience whether it's you know if it's a happy song you've got to find ways to 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 bring that out in in your in your playing you know whether whether it be bopping along with it if that helps you then then great um if it's a, if it's a more somber song or a, a more you know, sad or a, a romantic kind of song then um you got to find ways to to bring that emotion out through through this through the sex and that could be through articulation it could just be through you know possibly a little bit of uh, adding a bit of extra reverb if it's a nice romantic song and you want that schmaltzy sort of smooth thing going on i mean i grew up listening to a lot of um uh, you know guys like david sanborn and grover washington and to try and find a way to do that tastefully without without it getting obvious that you're trying to oh you know oversell the expression you know so but I think, you know, for me, it comes, it comes, luckily, it comes quite naturally, you know, if, if I'm thinking about the song, and I'm thinking about the vibe of the song, it's kind of something that happens almost, you know, in second nature, I don't, I don't think, okay, I need to really focus on whatever it might be for this song, kind of just let, let the let the song move you um, through through what it is. And, and hopefully that, you know, that that can take you all the way to you know being an expressive performance but yeah like you said articulation vibrato dynamics um those are the main things i would say that that'll that'll help you get over the finish line <laughs> awesome love it and do you think that you can get some ideas for all of those elements by listening closely to the way the singer performs the song definitely i mean i i so what happens is in my in my process, especially I'm talking now with the YouTube videos, is often I'm building a, a track from the ground up um, before I perform before I, before I perform the sax part. So while that's happening, the song is really kind of sinking in. I'm you know I'm listening to the drums and making a drum track and etc etc etc. And all the time this vocal is kind of we're going back, we're going over it and over and over it and over it again. By the time I get to the end, I've got a I've got a good sense of what the vibe of the song is from, you know, what the vocalist was putting across. And I feel that instinctively sort of becomes part of, of the performance in the end. you found that helpful i think that's brilliant like just those three things that brendan talked about today starting with a song that you really know and love then understanding the lyrics and digging into the lyrics so you can connect with the expression and the story i suppose of the song and then that magic third ingredient is to create some expression and more emotion in there by using things like dynamics and articulation vibrato all those expressive elements that you might be able to pick up 
from the original vocal version of a song. I really hope that's been helpful and it'll encourage you to go and make a start now trying to learn some pop songs. If you want to dig into the process further though, we've got a bunch of resources inside Sax School Online that will help you get there. And like I mentioned earlier, Brendan's actually doing a whole masterclass for us inside Sax School for our members. And we've got a 14 day trial running at the moment, the link for that is also down below. That's a great way for you to jump in, get full access to all of the lessons so you can check out some masterclasses, check out some of the thousand lessons, and there's literally a thousand lessons, courses, masterclass replays in the lesson library, so there's tons to do. Plus you can get help from our tutors, reach out to our community and get involved in some of our monthly live events and uh, masterclasses and uh, challenges. There's just so much stuff going on in there, it'll blow your mind. So go check it out, 14 day trial is running at the moment, links down below. Most importantly though, thanks so much for joining me today. Keep having fun with your saxophone, keep practicing hard, and I'll catch you next time.